hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this this brand logo design before jumping into this let's check the intro Take up graphic skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So without wasting much of our time, guys, let's dive into today's tutorial. Yeah, welcome back, guys. So right now, let's go to our ship. Then you reduce uh, the radius. Let it, let it be 48. Let it be something like 48 or you just uh, uh, reduce or increase the radius to 46 depending on how you want it and you crop it exactly like this after turn on the grid so right now we have to use mask to do all the work but to make it uh, uniform we need to um, go to our let me try whether this will work then you can see i cut out the lower part after cutting it down then i have to use my grid because i want to divide into five so you use your grid just click the number then you set it so let's see the row and the column you have to be familiar with that the horizontal and the vertical horizontal means row while the vertical means column so i set the horizontal to be 10 while the vertical is 3 because i'm only interested so when you count it by row that is 1 2 3 4 the remaining 5 is very small so i have to make it to be 5 so i want to change the horizontal which is the row i want to change it to 12 so when you look at it by 12, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's still the same, but uh, what really matters is that it's not really right. But I have to shift it up since the shape are there already. And the line is there. So when you look at it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is actually right. Now the work started. So I have to, I have to copy it then position it in five places because i want my own main objective is to make sure that uh, i give each of these different color so you have to copy it in five places then position it let it run exactly like this So you see what I'm saying? So just make sure that uh, you copy in five places, position it on top of each other. Don't let one, and you can see this is the five. So I lock the four and I hide it. So the first part, I'm going to deal with it. How can I do that? I want to use my mask. Remember, I've used the mask before. So now I have to add something, match something together with it. So just bring out this uh, particular text. After you bring it, so type, go to text area, see if you want to type, if you understand. I want to move it, come down, so that there won't be any mistake. So now, go to text area, you hide it, then match it together with that first one. To turn into image again now go to your mask so enable your mask to the edge like this to cut out it line by line since there is a line the marketing uh, uh the marketing or splitting the text divided it into five places 
So you position it exactly the way I'm doing it. So you position it. Just position it exactly like this. So cut out, then you click out. So you'll be able to have the first part being cut. So you go to lock. I mean go to the layer. So you can see the grid really shows that uh, we have one particular line to be cut. So now lock it, go to the second one, enable it. Repeat the same process. You are going to position it very well, which is very very okay because of if it is not uniform when you are uh, uh, arranging and adding color it will just be scattered so you repeat the same process match something to it then you go to the mask use your mask to cut out the second line so we are going to repeat the same process to the last stage So we are repeating the same process. You just need to take your time. So you see the way I'm positioning. Just let the line be on the straight line to trace the grid that demarcate each each of these uh, demarcate the shape so position the same thing here go to the since we have a forge four points so you just position it at the edge of this uh, the line then you tap on it and reduce the line to make it straight So you can see so we are going to repeat the same process on the, the last stage just be watching and follow the directive so use it to cut it and what i'm trying to do is to cut the shape into five different places just or merge them or split them into five different places then when everything are together they look like the same shape by getting it then when uh, 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 we we'll now apply treat them differently for us to be able to achieve our human objective so let's just be watching and be looking
so now so now we are going to apply color so after cutting out these uh, 50 parts and then we are going to treat them accordingly so as you can see we have the top one why we already have uh, the others so go to the color area apply different color the way you want it you can do your selection color selection depend on how you want it but make sure you know the meaning of each of those color color you are applying so i want to apply the yellow to be at the top so i'm removing all this i'm thinking of using gradient before but it doesn't work so now you apply this red color go to the layer enable the second one applying different color you will repeat the same process on the third one just enable the third uh, shape go to the color apply different color we are moving to the fourth one we are applying different color as you can see so we repeat the same process to hold the shape that works that was split or that was cut out so because we're not really detaching them so now we go to the last one we go to the last and apply different color so now that we've succeeded in choosing different color so we need to go to we'll go to apply stroke so you click on them one by one apply the stroke to all of them so that there will be a demarcation we'll see as the glance how is each of those shapes stand so we are going to uh, repeat the same process for the stroke for each of these until the last part So now we are going to the text area. So type your brand name as a deco. We have deco. Then we are going to the font type. We select the kind of font that we want. So let's go to the font type. I want something like a slant font. So go to the font and select bite chocolate. Bite chocolate font. So increase the size. Increase the size to be positioned very well. So let the space in between the each alphabet before. Then you increase the size to something like uh, maybe 120 or 150. Then we are giving it color and position it inside this uh, shape that was made. So we'll position exactly like this. Now we'll go to with the right up and complete the brand name. So you can see, give it a black color and the uh, uh, gray, I mean the uh, stroke that we have already applied on the shape, allow it to make it look awesome when we give uh, change the color of the brand name, which is the go. So now everything is already positioned well. So we are going to the right top after this by putting the other brand name. So we are going to the right or just say Deco Digital O. Let's say Deco Digital O. Digital O. So we go to the shape main font and choose Quick Sand Regular Font. Quick Sand Regular Font. You reduce it and uh, let there be space in between each alphabet. Let us zoom 100. 100. 100 then we are going to position it under this by giving it different color color we tap the color from second to the last color here on the shape we tap it then we position it so now we are going to make sure that uh, the digital of is in aligned with the shape at the top so 
to make it to look more professional. So we are almost there. So we are applying the shape, I mean the color. After applying the color, then the whole work has been done. The whole work has been done. So as you can see, but we must make sure that uh, the digital hub is aligned is or aligned with the shape at the top. So after we are able to source, after we are able to do that, we succeeded in that. The rest are so simple, and the background is deep blue because that is what can actually, uh, 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 actually plumb and make the logo, the design awesome. So now that we have that. We we'll go to we we'll go to so the trick is there are so simple. I match the whole thing. So after matching it, I didn't go to measure. I just click on the the shape, the second at the bottom. As I like this, then that one allow me to move it all around. The rest are so simple. Just make sure that it's being positioned well. Then after that, we already done the whole work, and you see how it look very, very awesome and very, very presentable. Then I'll be safe. Yeah, thank for watching and thank for sticking around to the end. See you next time.